Today we are going to build the circuit for the heartbeat monitor. So let's see how the components are laid on the uh, on the breadboard. Let's start with the optical sensor. This is right here, the black sensor that you have in your box. And it has four pins, two on the left for the light source and two on the right for the photodiode. And we will connect directly to ground the lower left pin and the upper right pin. They are connected both to ground. Then the upper left pin, it's connected to a 300 ohm resistor that is connected to the nine volt, nine volt line. On the other side, the last pin left, so the lower right pin, it's connected with this jumper to our transistor, to the base of the transistor, so in the middle leg of the transistor. And that same leg is connected through a 100 kilo ohm resistor to the 9, 9 volt line. Then on the transistor we have the collector that is connected directly on the uh, 9 volt line and the emitter. And the emitter is connected through a 1 kilo ohm resistor to ground and through a 1 microfarad capacitor to a 56 kilo ohm resistor here. And that resistor goes down and comes to a node where we have three different branches. So from this node, we go first to a 270 nanofarad capacitor to ground. And then we go through two identical 56 kilo ohm resistors as the one that we saw before to two, to two separate jumpers. The first one goes on the output of our operational amplifier. And the second one, in my case it's green, goes to the inverting input of the first amplifier. Then we need to come back to our node here. In my case was the green, the green jumper, as you have seen. We come back here and we also have a second uh, capacitor of 270 nanofarad that goes from the same node to, I positioned it here, to another node from which we can we can uh, connect a, a jumper that goes again to the output of the first operation amplifier. So that's where you connected the first jumper. So the jumper that was on, on the on the on the other 50, uh, 56 kilo ohm resistor that we saw earlier. Okay, so now we are at the output of the first operation amplifier and we connect directly from the output. We connect our an, uh, 33 kilo ohm resistor right here, same node as the last two jumpers that we just saw. And that resistor goes all the way through to uh, the inverting input. So that's the minus input of our second op-up right here. On the same node, so on the inverting input of the second uh, amplifier, we have one jumper that brings us down here, brings us down here to the feedback loop. We go here and then we have our 3.3 .3 kilo uh, mega ohm uh, resistor right there that goes across and then meets this this wire right here, this jumper that again closes the loop, the feedback and goes into the output of the second amplifier here. And then we finish up with this capacitor that connects this white jumper to our oscilloscope. So I used I used a yellow yellow jumper right here that is connected to our probe for the oscilloscope. And on the other side, on the same node, sorry, on the same node, we also have a 100 kilo ohm resistor that goes to ground. We, what else we need to do? We need to make a, a voltage divider. I made it here with two 33 kilo ohm resistors. So one resistor goes to the nine volts, the other one goes to ground and they meet together right there. And in the same node, I use two uh, lines to, uh, for as an input for, as a, the non-inverting input for the both amplifiers. So they both go right there, non-inverting input of the first one and the non-inverting input of the second one. We also need to power up to supply uh, power to the 
amplifiers so we have one two these are go directly to the nine volt line and one two these are connected directly connected to the to the negative uh, of the power supply and uh, that's it uh, we put our time scale on 500 milliseconds and our uh, signal scale on 500 millivolts and now let's try to put the finger on top okay we, hear, we see that the signal is a bit all over the place we let it stabilize for a moment my heartbeat at the moment is around 60 beats per minute okay here that's a quite nice signal yeah so it's not very easy to maintain in maintain uh, to not move all the components on the breadboard of course but uh, eventually we will okay you can get a nice stable signal like this some peaks here and there but again quite consistent perfect 